people of the verse hello and welcome to this channel this is the eradicator and today we are going to have a little bit of a roadmap update it's been a while since the very last roadmap update that we did together and so it is time to catch up on what has been done uh, with the star system project lately so let's we let's have a look right now let we go let's have a look at star citizen alpha 3.10 and we're going to start right here with characters and unfortunately it's been a while since uh, anything has been done with Eddie Parr. Eddie Parr is already completed here at 78% with 39 tasks out of 50 completed. As I mentioned in a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago regarding Eddie Parr, I do believe that the few tasks that are left for Eddie Parr depend on the Evo Caddies and eventually the PTU. So that's why I don't think that we're going to see anything done regarding Eddie Parr until further tests are, com are eventually conducted with additional players. The macro tech additions, uh, so no new tasks done this week, but last week an extra four tasks have been done, which makes it now with a total of 15 tasks completed out of 25. We also have three new tasks completed uh, this week with the additional of seven last week, which now makes a total of 51 tasks out of 68. For the Grim X improvements, we've seen once again some extra details and extra footage of the Grim X improvements that we are going to be able to enjoy in the next iteration of Star Season by the end of this quarter. As far as the weapon types go, uh, combat uh, weapon types, this is now completed with 100% here. One task out of one that was not really uh, uh, a lot there. FPS cover usage is also completed with, uh, f with um, uh, four tasks out of four completed over here as well. Uh, let's move on to gameplay now and let's have a look at the elevator panels which uh, well, for sure are going to give some uh, extra uh, f extra polish I would say to the to the game because right now the current elevator panels are not fantastic if you're not in new Babbage, only one task here has been done this week with only one task out of six completed body dragging is making some serious pro some serious <laughs> progress here with a uh, grand total of four new tasks completed added with the previous four from the from last week and we are a total of uh, 21 tasks completed which is uh, very nice uh, if we complete if we uh, if we have a look at uh, everything that is already complete that's 21 out of 27 which makes a total of 78 percent done uh, looking pretty good. We were told in the last Inside Star Citizen episode that body dragging has been even a go and players will be able to drag one another and even NPCs as we could see that in the security post carré. That sounds pretty much exciting for those of you who do want to be bounty hunters in the verse and that's also something that I want to do so quite excited about this one. The new targeting methodology which uh, I have no idea about what this is. I would like uh, I, would, I would love it if we could have uh, extra details here. No tasks have been uh, done uh, over the past couple of weeks. We are still stuck here at 14 tasks out of 17. Uh, same for high spin combat, still stuck at 9 tasks out of 10. An extra task has been completed this week as well as another one last week for the ship HUD rework, which is now finished at 9 tasks out of 10 completed. We also saw that during the latest Inside Star Citizen episode, which is going to include better visibility when the environment is a little bit too bright for us to see the HUD right now in Star Citizen of 3.9.1. So that's really fantastic. If you are facing the sun or if you are facing a planetary body that is a little bit too bright, you will be able to read your ship's information thanks to that rework. Pretty cool. Still stuck at three tasks out of six completed for the surrender system. Uh, gameplay restricted area rework, which we desperately needed the game. So still didn't have any progress. Eight tasks out of 12. And same goes for the Origin M15 improvement, which is really weird because we keep on seeing some of that work during Inside Star Citizen episodes. But here on the roadmap, it still says zero tasks out of eight completed, which really makes me wonder what use is there for a roadmap if the roadmap doesn't seem to be transcribing what is actually going on, right? The Cutlass Blue has been moved from 3.10 to 3.9 and now is seen as complete. There's been a couple of more tasks done for the Gemini C-54 Ballistic Submachine Gun, which is now at uh, 20 tasks completed out of 28. 
Uh, nothing has been done for the two electron rifles, unfortunately, but the Klaus and Werner Sledge mass driver has also seen one extra task complete with 22 tasks out of 30 completed. And uh, no new tasks for high might improvements, but two more tasks were done last week, which makes a total of three tasks out of 17 complete. And uh, yeah, we already know that the shaders uh, improvements are done for 3.10. So that's pretty much it for 3.10, which is uh, looking like it is making some progress. Uh, so that, that's good. Quite a lot of features are either at over 50 or 75% complete. Some are already finished. So yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to have a quite early patch on time. At least, yeah, it seems like it if they don't have some serious uh, network issues like it was the case for 3.9. What was done here for 3.11? Not much, not much. Two more tasks here for the improved throw gameplay with the additional of one from the previous week. And we are now at a grand total of nine tasks completed out of 16. And that's pretty much it. Nothing else was completed last week as well. So 3.11 seems to be uh, a little bit stuck here. But at the same time, it's normal. They're giving the priority to 3.10. Making sure that uh, 3.10 gets to the PTU probably within two weeks, I would guess. At least uh, Evo Caddy, right? Uh, and uh, especially with the latest delays that we've seen in 3.9, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, CIG really wants to release 3.10 on time or maybe a little bit in advance uh, just to make it up for us that's just my educated guess here that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching please tell me which feature are you the most excited about in 3.10 personally this is definitely uh, going to be body dragging <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if there's actually going to be a use in 3.10 for body dragging but uh, just I, I just think that it's gonna be quite fun that's just my, my own personal opinion here quite excited also about the electron rifles I really wonder if there is going to be a need to uh, for, for those guns is there going to be a need to surrender like if we surrender is it going to take us to jail are we going to have a uh, a bonus or a debuff if we don't surrender and surrender and we respond in jail eventually i don't know it would be interesting to see uh, what is going to happen there all right guys uh, tomorrow we're gonna have an exciting video i was able to play star citizen of 3.9.1 for three hours straight and we're gonna see uh, you know the good the bad and the ugly of uh, that gameplay session not everything was bad there were some pretty good things as well i had an okay time i would say it was not fantastic a little bit frustrating but at the same time i I also had some good moments too. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Take care of yourself, everybody. Uh, enjoy 3.9.1. Enjoy the Invictus launch week. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.